Do you know where to stay in Cappadocia? If not, keep watching. On my first day here in Cappadocia, I'm staying in Cappadocia Cave Suites, but tomorrow I'm gonna transfer to another hotel. Choosing the place or the hotel where to stay, I consider a few things. First, what is the place known for? I'm in Cappadocia right now and the place is known for cave hotels and hot air balloons. I haven't tried to stay in cave hotels before, so this is going to be my first time. I'm excited. And of course, I want to stay in a hotel with a nice rooftop because I want to watch hundreds of hot air balloons tomorrow morning. So I chose to stay in Cappadocia Cave Suites. Let's check out my room. I'm in room 117. This is the double bed and a cabinet on the side. There are some decorations posted on the wall. Not a very big room but enough for one to three person. I'm gonna check downstairs and the bathroom. There is an extra bed over here. This is just a single bed with a bedside table. There is a small sink and some complimentary items and a mini bar. And let's check the toilet. There is a toilet bowl of course, a bathtub at the same time a shower area and a lavatory. one two three windows so if you're claustrophobic you will not be scared of this place i think so and right now i'm gonna check the rooftop if there is a nice view if i selected the right hotel it's a bit hot right now it's sunny I should wear my sunglasses this is the view from the rooftop I can see it. the Goram is down center there is also a mountain from afar and some rock formations I think it will be more beautiful tomorrow early morning when the hot air balloon will be flying over the valley. Good morning! I'm in the rooftop of the hotel right now and as you can see there are hundreds of balloons flying over the valley and the view is really nice and the weather is good, not too cold. The hotel has actually three rooftops. This is the first one, a bit smaller, but I can see clearly the view of the city and the flying hot air balloons. The second rooftop is with table and chairs. If you want to take a sip of hot coffee while watching the magnificent view in the sky, this is the place for you. But there are establishments and huge rock formations in the surroundings that may block the spectacular panoramic scenery. This is the third and my favorite rooftop. It is carpeted with multicolored pillows on it in different sizes. Not to mention the center food table with artificial fruits and veggies which are useful in clicking excellent pictures. Waking up early is absolutely worth it to watch this beautiful sunrise and numerous flying balloons. The government of Cappadocia only allows to fly up to 150 balloons every day if the weather permits. The second thing I need to consider is the hotel location. It should be near to the attractions I'm planning to visit or near to the restaurants and shops. Well, I'm staying here in 
Cappadocia Cave Suites it's located in the center of Gorem so it's near to the attraction uh, very near and maybe just a walking distance from here I have only two days here in Cappadocia and I don't want to waste my time in going back and forth from the attractions to the hotel so I want to maximize my time I want to use my time wisely the third thing I consider is the reviews about the hotel before booking the hotel I read some reviews it's better to know the feedback from the people who already experienced the place like how's the food the, the cleanliness the service or how about the the stuff so it should be good reviews right most of the hotels here in Cappadocia have good reviews so I didn't focus on that much the fourth thing I need to consider is the hotel room price it should be within the budget but at the same time without compromising the comfort that I need during my vacation there are lots of things need to consider while booking a hotel but the, those are the priority on my list I just had my breakfast the food was good it was tasty I had some slices of toasted bread local dishes eggs and sausages and lots of juices I had some cheese also and different kinds of fruits breakfast would be incomplete without my energy drink a cup of hot coffee in a relaxed atmosphere I'm now checking out from Cappadocia Cave Suites and now on the way to another hotel I'm in Kayata Hotel I know transferring hotels for just two days of vacation here in Cappadocia is kind of hassle but I like staying in different hotels in front of this family-run hotel is a small garden of roses in different colors I'm in room 13 this is the sitting area with center table there is also a small refrigerator and a flat screen TV the room is quite spacious and I like its uniqueness the double bed and the bedside tables are made of rocks some portion of the floor is carpeted and there is a small wooden table on the side it's quite unique that the designs on the walls are carved into the stones let's go to the bathroom there is a blower a mirror a small sink a toilet bowl of course and a shower area I think I got all what I needed I'm leaving Cappadocia now I will be driving towards Pamukkale passing by Konya